lockdown life, this is a lesson for year one. Um, and we're going to be looking at measurements and how to measure. You can hear my dog in the background there. We're going to be looking at measurements and how to measure for using a ruler, for measuring in centimetres, for comparisons, all kinds of different measurements and how they can check different measurements in all kinds of different ways, but using it in a way that makes something interesting at the end that hopefully children are going to enjoy building up toward and that they can then use to check some of their own measurements and some of your measurements if you add anything to this as well, because we're going to build a little model town. So I'll show you first how to do the actual town planning stage. So we're going to start off by doing a town plan. And this is something I've done with year one children whereby I've asked them to actually measure out their town plan before we build it and what they would like to see in their town, what the measurements are going to be. If you wanted to do this with all the children, you could certainly look at doing things like getting the ratios right. So you could look at for every I don't know, five centimetres on their plan here, that might equate to 15 centimetres on a real town or on their model town, I should say. So you start off by making sure that things like the actual mapping out are done accurately. Um, even just down to the idea of getting the actual starting point at the start of the ruler, um, if, assuming you've got one, if not, tape measures, things like that can work. So getting it down to, being, I want 10 centimetres there, every road is going to need to be roughly the same width. So if we say that we're going to make ours five, that puts to here. You can talk to them as you go through this as to how accurate the method that I'm using here is or is not. Um, decide on where different junctions are going to be and decide where different buildings are going to be in their town. And they can decide the actual measurements of those buildings as well. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post in the comments on the Facebook live video the actual images of the model towns that my year one class designed. Um, because you'll be able to see the sort of level of detail that they were able to go into then. Um, I was really surprised and impressed by some of the things that they actually produced, which were just incredibly accurate measurements, incredibly accurate town plans. Um, probably, I would suggest, better than what I'm currently creating. So we're going to start by getting our roads in place, and then you can be talking to them about what kinds of buildings they would like in their town and the accurate measurements that they're going to use for those. One of the things I'm doing here is I'm just putting down these markings but you could suggest that these should be equal lengths apart. So at that point, they could decide that they're going to put one centimetre in between each one so that they get a more accurate measurement. There's all kinds of different ways you can indicate ways that they're going to get more accurate things. And then they start designing where buildings are going to go and what size they'd like those buildings to be. So I'm going to make the first house here. I'm going to decide that it's going to be five centimetres by three centimetres. Now, again, if you were doing scaling with children, you could talk about what size that actually equates to, and they could then build it out of Lego, they could build it out of boxes, making nets for things. And I'm going to decide this is going to be a house. And I know that this is three centimetres. This is five centimetres. You can start kind of modelling things out that way. Um, I think this is going to look more impressive in the when I drop the images in the comments of what some year one children actually made in my class because it's, it is incredible the level of detail and the level of accuracy that some of them went to. But you get the kind of idea and they can decide what it is that's going to go in their town. And you end up with a sort of rough town plan, a kind of overview of what's going to be. And now I'm going to take you to the next stage of this. So I've spoken about how you would, how you could scale it up with all the children and how you could decide that you're actually going to build something proper at the end. And this is our town. So if we start looking around now, what you should know is that we have our tower that we've actually built up here that has differing windows in it. This is Flump Tower. This has different size windows and a, and a door in it, but what children may want to do is check your measurements 
if you had a building or check their own if they've added it and they can start deciphering if actually this is correctly built so what they'll find is that while this window is four centimeters this one's less than four by three and a half so they can find design faults and design errors that are within your town different things like the road markings are slightly off here and we can take a little tour around you can ensure that the road has to be the correct width so that two cars can get past one another you can do different measurement things such as even just as simple as rolling the car down and measure how far it can actually go is this a safe junction because i've set it up so that it doesn't rock into the tower uh, we've got different houses these ones are actually more accurately measured out so if the children were to measure and check these so you can have them work as a town planner a town builder and then a surveyor who's going to come and actually inspect the work and the work in this case is this is my end town result again the more buildings you have the more time you spend on this the better it's going to look i've used the tough tray you could use chalk outside you could just do this on like a large piece of paper or card but what you end up with is this model town which they can then use as just something to play in or to explore and do whatever they'd like in um but yeah, you end up with all these different building sizes. Like I say, I'm going to put some of my own classes, examples in the comments on Facebook. And for the YouTube version, I'll hopefully include some images in a downloadable PDF with instructions on how to actually build the town and how to get the most out of this for your children. So that's about it for today's live. Thanks a lot.